When I remember that night, it was just extremely cold. And to look down at this gentleman's feet and see that he had no socks, and when he told me he never had a pair of shoes, it was just, uh, my heart went out to him. I ran ahead of him and I went to Skechers and I asked him, listen, uh, I don't care what it costs, uh, this gentleman needs a pair of shoes. And uh, they were able to help me out. It was cold and he couldn't put, you know, I didn't want him doing it himself. And so I just knelt down, I didn't think anything of it, and uh, I just helped him put on the socks and the shoes there. And that simple act of kindness from, kindness from Officer Larry DePrimo went around the world. It's been seen millions and millions of times right now. It gives us the opportunity, Koki Roberts, with just a couple minutes left here to identify some things that are giving you hope in our political world. In the political world, you know, I'm just back from Vietnam where I was uh, doing some work with Save the Children, and eventually we get it right. Uh, it takes a long time sometimes, but we've gotten it right there. We're doing wonderful development work there, we the American people, putting shoes on all kinds of people, and mm. especially on little children who have never had them before. Dan Senor. Uh, this week, the Jack Kemp Foundation is having its inaugural uh, conference, and people like Paul Ryan and Marco Rubio are speaking at it. If you look at their speeches, it's all about the war on poverty. It's all about strengthening civil society. You look at these ideas, I shared a couple of them with a Democratic friend of mine. I didn't tell him who the author of the ideas were, and he says, this is something we could do. So I actually think, strangely, there, there's, a, there's a war on poverty campaign that Democrats and Republicans could find that's common some ground. some good news. On. What gives me hope is we had an election. Uh, it was hard fought, and there, there was ideology. And in the end, the American people basically, to me, made a statement that they believe in government. They believe government can still help solve problems. And they believe it's government's job to focus particularly on those who are most in need. Look, I think the, I agree. The American people, I think, told us they want us to work together. They kept power divided. And, you know, the great thing about our system is over time, the will of the American people it always works through it. You got some checks, you got some balances, but in the end, uh, people do, politicians do what people tell them to do. And I think they've told us to work together. I believe we will. I think you got a public employee going above and beyond the call of duty <laughs> to help a, a, a homeless person just goes to uh, make me think that, you know, our government workers uh, are pretty good people. Uh, no question about that. One of the things I was encouraged by looking back uh, at the election, we actually saw that young people stayed engaged right. this time, mm -hmm. this time around. Their share of the election actually went up over right. 2000. And that is a hopeful sign if we have continued participation going forward into the future. And those were all fantastic contributions. Thank you all very much. Great roundtable. Dan's going to stick around and answer questions. All of you at home have tweeted us about the Romney campaign. That's this week's Web Extra.